Hi there, in the following video I wanted to answer for you uh, question 6 in the June 2010 OCR Call 4 past paper, again question on vectors. Here we go. It was a 10 mark question and it said as follows. It said that we have uh, lines L1 and L2 given by these vector equations. Remember a vector equation has a position to start and a direction component, a position and a direction component. And uh, T and S are the parameters. A is a constant, so it's an unknown constant here. L1 and L2 are perpendicular. Find the value of A. Now, L1 and L2 are perpendicular if their direction vectors, uh, the dot product of them, is zero. So what I'm going to do for part one, I'm going to say that the vector 2, A, and 1, and if I take the dot of that, with 2, 2, and minus 6, 2, 2, and minus 6, I must get 0. 2 times 2 is 4, a times 2 is 2a, 1 times minus 6 is minus 6, that is equal to 0, and uh, 4 minus 6 is minus 2, uh, adding 2 to both sides and dividing by 2 tells us that a must be equal to 1. Okay, so that's good. We found that for A is 1. Now, part 2, let's just move on to part 2. It says with L1 and L2, they actually intersect. Given that they intersect, so assuming they're not perpendicular, find the value of A. Okay, well, I'm going to write these uh, vectors. I'm going to call that line R1. I'm going to write that as no I uh, plus 2T, so that's going to be 2T, uh, 1J plus A. Uh, a plus 80, so it's going to be 1 plus 80, and this is going to be 1 uh, plus t. So I like writing my equations of line in the column format. Um, R2 is going to be 3 plus 2s, so 3 plus 2 lots of s. Um, k minus 1k, sorry, there's no j, so no j plus 2s, so it's just going to be 2s, and minus 1 minus 6s, so minus 1, minus 6s. Okay, now uh, you are told that uh, these two lines intersect, so that means the i's must be the same, the j's must be the same, and the k's must be the same. So let's write out some equations. 2t must equal 3 plus 2s, equation 1. Uh, 1 plus a lots of t must be 2s, that must be equation 2. And 1 plus t must be minus 1, minus 6s, must be equation 3. OK, what I'm going to do is, I've got three equations and three unknowns. The first thing I'm going to do is maybe use equations 1 and 3 that just have t and s in it to find what t and s should be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take equation 1, I'm going to multiply all by 3, because I want that to be a 6s, so it can combine here with that s and disappear. What would I get if I multiplied this equation by 3? Well, I'd get 6t, and I'd get 9 plus 6s, and I might call that equation 4. Now, I'm going to add equation 3 to equation 4. 1 plus nothing is 1, t plus 6t is 7t, and minus 1 plus 9 is 8, and 6s uh, minus 6s plus 6s is 0. So solving therefore for t, take away 1 and divide by 7, you must get t is equal to 1. Okay? And substituting back into either 1, 3 or 4, you would get s, let's put it back into here, let's say, 6 times 1 is 6, then take away the 9, you get minus 3, and divide by 6, you get minus 3 over 6, which is minus a half. So s would be minus a half, assuming they intersect. Now I've got t is 1, s is minus a half. If I use that in equation 2, so I'm going to say into, I'm going to put this all in to get what a is, I'll get 1 plus uh, t lots of a, which is 1 times a, so 1 plus a would equal 2 times minus a half, which is minus 1. So making a the subject of the formula, subtracting 1 from both sides, a would be negative 2. OK, and the last part here, the angle between the two lines. So we need the direction components of that line and that line. 
Well, uh, and we're going to use the formula. Don't forget, we're going to use the formula cos theta. If that is the direct, I'm going to call little a the direction component of that, and little b the direction component of that. It's going to be equal to a dot b over the modulus of a times the modulus of b. Okay, now, uh, what is the direction of a? Let's just write what a is. Well, it's 2. What did we say a was in the last one? We said a was minus 2. So it's 2, minus 2, and 1. And b is our vector, 2, 2, and minus 6. So 2, 2, minus 6. We go through the motions here, working out a dot b, mod a, mod b, and then work out theta. Okay, let's do it. a dot b. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. 1 times minus 6 is minus 6. So we get a dot b is negative 6. What's the modulus of a, the size of a? Well, it's the square root of 2 squared plus minus 2 squared plus 1 squared, okay? Which is 4 plus 4 plus 1, uh, which is the square root of 9, which is 3. And the modulus of b is the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus minus 6 squared. That's 4 plus 4 plus 36, which is the square root of 44. So plugging it all into this formula, I'm just going to change the colour of my pen. Cos theta must equal a dot b, which is minus 6, divided by 3 times root 44. You type that in your calculator and take the inverse cosine function of that, and you get theta is equal to... Um, 108 degrees rounded to three significant figures. Just note, it's fine to give your answer like that. If they had asked for the acute angle between the two, you would have had to do 180 as uh, subtract that answer. Okay, I hope you found that useful in your revision for vectors in core 4. Thanks for listening.